was a kid by then. Sasa sasa yeye atamkiona ile ya kudanganyana tunapendana mnaenda kujificha huko siju wazazi sasa wanasema tumeshinda kuwashikilia wana hawa watoto wacha tuwaozeshe. Sisi familia tunakuja tunachanga pesa tunawaozesha. Mnaka mnazaa watoto wawili huyo mapenzi lisha kumbe mapenzi mlileta mkiwa wadogo wachanga. A, long of, a lot of time to for the introduction part, but I want you to be patient and uh, operatic. This is a part of class, and uh, you should take it seriously. For somebody coming from Nairobi for you, and you don't pay attention, you don't take anything, put things from her, it can become useless. All right? So, Sister Saida, Karibu. Assalamu alaikum. Eh, first of all, nitasema asante sana mwalimu kwa kunikaribisha leo hapa. Ya Muslim nimesikia nimeona because nimeaishi mwana Garissa. Nimelelewa Garissa. Nilisoma Yuga Girls class 1 to class 7. From 1 to form 2 Nep Girls. Sasa from that place I went to Mombasa. Anyway, my names are Saida Rashid Ahmed. Nisuraya kufika hapa. Mimi ni founder wa Mandera Mental and Disability Aid. I'm a parent, mother of three. I'm a married woman. I'm a mother. I'm a sister. I'm a guardian. I'm somebody's daughter. Somebody's sister like you. So... Mi kukua hapa na kukuja kutoka Nairobi si mchezo. Nimeacha watoto siyo? Nikaacha familia siyo? Only because of you. Uh, leo nataka nizungumze machache. Nataka kuzungumza sana. Because nini pia, you know better than me maybe. But because of my experience, what I went through life, I will tell you, you are still beginning the life history of yourselves. Mjakuwa vazazi, mjaoa mkiwa wadogo, siyo? Mimi ni mwolewa nikiwa mdogo, ikafika mahali nikawacha shule, ili nikai nikangalia nini? Familia yangu. Lakini leo nasimama hapa nikizungumza na nyenye, mimi ni mesoma University ya Stockholm, Sweden. Mwame nisikia? Na siku maliza form 4, nitawambia wazi. Nikiwa form 3, mkiwa this age, mipia simnojua mkoko adolescence. I will tell you the truth. 
I talk about experience. I'm not talking about somebody's story outside. I can manuliza how is she a founder? How is she here standing with us and telling us something? Because opportunities are there. If you believe in yourself and if you decide I want to do this, you can do it. So I was in form three. I don't understand see you again. Unajua mko wakati mnasema ah huyu mwalimu naye anatusumbua utaki kwenda class mathematics teacher I was there. Yes. Nilikuwa. Paka niko na toroka class. Niko najifanya niko mgonjwa wangapi wanajifanya wakiwa wagonjwa. Hebu msemeni tu kweli. Be serious. Ama mnaogopa mwalimu. Now Mnajua kwa nini mwaambia mchukue kalamu na kitabu? I want you to write any challenge that you are going through in this school. Anything you want me to talk about or any question you have and don't write your name. Okay? Don't write what challenges are you going through? Not even school alone. Even outside the school. Munapitia challenge gun. How do you want us to cope with such issue? Majua nini wanaume ndio lakini msisema tu mwanamke anatuambia nini hapa. I have a son. I have a brother. I have my brother's son. But I'll be a mentor to those kids, right? So please, take that moment. Usiandike jina yako swali metoka kwa nani. Write anything, a question you want to ask. And anything that you think is disturbing you. Hata kama kuna kakitu mwalimu anafanya. Wea andika lakini usitume alafu kunja tu. Peana tuita kunja hapa. Alafu we will tackle that at the end of the conversation. Tumelewana? Sindio? <laughs> now, Najua, I think from three to from four. Okay, from one to from four. I'll start with from once. You have a long way to go. Munabuliwa <laughs> shule from once. Good. Are you serious? Yeah. Write down. <coughs> Write down what type of bully are they be? because I know it is there. I was also bullied once once upon a time in the girls. <coughs> For months you have a long way to go. But what I will tell you. What I will tell you, not to give up. Maybe you are, a, you are a son of a single mother. You are a son of a widower. You are a son of a single father. And you are in this school because you got that opportunity. Don't play with this opportunity. I know a lot of things are in your head. Eh? Najuliza. Kimaliza from what hakuna connection ya university, hakuna connection ya shule, hakuna connection ya kuenda sijiu kazi. Hiyo kitu remove from your head. I do have connections and today I'm standing with you here. I do have connections. I believed in myself and I did it. Ile from four siku maliza, I went to Europe country. Nika soma, nika enda university, nika fanya kazi, na sahizi mimi dona tembea kupea watu motivation. So ile mahali ya uko nimelipisha. Lakini sasa, nyinyi mnajuliza maswali, form fours mnaenda. I just wanna wish you the best. But do you know what is waiting you outside? 
you don't know. And maybe if you know, you don't know much. Ajua saizi mnajiona nini ni ndume kweli mnamaliza form 4 sasa mtaenda kuona wanawake wasiana warembo mkaanza kuwatongoza. Mm. Hata saizi mko na simu najua mnazungumza. Mtongoze ni nature ya wanawake na wanaume lazima tu bila nyinyi hatuwezi ku bila nyinyi na nyinyi bila sisi hamwezi ku lakini mamaliza shule. Mepata results. Baada kupata results? Eh? <laughs> Kuna mtu amesema anaoa. <laughs> Imetoka this side, eh? <laughs> Haya kuoa kuoa sio shida. Huyo msichana wenyewe utamlisha nini? <laughs> eh? Hebu basi mmoja atujibu mtamlisha nini msana wenye? <laughs> eh? I need somebody to answer me that question. One person, one, one person. One person. Yes. Lakini Mwenyezi Mungu alisema jisaidie nitakusaidia. Hakusema niko na ulale. <coughs> Sasa mimi nikisema nikae tu lakini Mwenyezi Mungu yuko. Mwenyezi Mungu ataniletea chakula kwa nyumba. Good. Forget. Na Mwenyezi Mungu alisema usiseme niko na usimame kwenye barabara na gari ipita haita kugonga. So why are you using God as an excuse? Allah is there. Allah wants somebody who is dedicated mwenye anajisaidia na yeye atakusaidia bila shaka. That is why tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie na rehema yake. Sasa msitumie excuse riziki iko. Kuoa ni gharama. Kuweka mwanamke ni gharama. Kutongoza ni gharama. Hiyo ninatumia bundles ngapi in a day? Ni wifi. Haya. <laughs> sawa. Ni sawa. Wifi ni sawa. Lakini wewe ndo unalipa hiyo wifi. Are you the one paying? Who is paying? Eh? Yeah? Ati kuna nini? Mwalimu anapata kweli. Eh? Let's have one answer or two. Anauliza hiyo wifi umepata nani analipa? Nani analipa? Jirani. Wewe una iba? Sasa mna iba eh? Sasa hivi ndo mtaiba wasiana wenyewe? Sasa mimi naogopa sasa ni kwa naogopa kuwaletea msichana wangu maana yake sasa mtamuiba. Eh? Challenges are waiting for you. Kipata results pamoja na mwalimu nishayo tutazungumza zaidi na yeye. Ukipata results na ume lose hope na hakuna mtu atakusaidia. Get contact with mwalimu. We will look for sponsor for you. Clap for that. That's a chance. Young Muslim is a good school you get sponsors so far you decide and you work hard I am sure they can sponsor you even to go to Turkey and study But lakini are you ready for that Are you ready Are you people serious for sure are you ready to get that sponsor It's all starts with you. Not me, not my friend, not Walimu, not Dan there. It starts with you. Wewe ukiamua nia yako na utie BD, you will succeed inshallah. Stop joking with life. Life has a lesson to teach you. It's going to be harsh. Outside is very harsh. After form four, 
kuna wasichana vile nimesema sitanyamaza manake sasa sisi tuko na hii mambo ya kukua kutongozana te tunapenda hakuna mapenzi at this age because i went through there but now i'm i'm not married to my first husband because ilikuwa marriage ya utoto utoto like you it was, i was a kid by then sasa sasa hata mkioana ile ya kudanganyana tunapendana mnaenda kujificha huko sijui wazazi sasa wanasema tumeshinda kuwashikilia wana hawa watoto wacha tuwaozeshe sisi familia tunakuja tunachanga pesa tunawaozesha mnaka mnazaa watoto wawili huyo mapenzi lisha kumbe mapenzi mlileta mkiwa wadogo wachanga mkiwa shule saa hizi huyo hana kazi wewe huna kazi ile kitu mtafaidika hapo ni watoto na tunasema alhamdulillah lakini ndoa hiyo hamtaka maana ni ndoa ya, ya utoto kuna drug abuse ni hadarati and i don't know i can't judge i can't say anything that is exactly what is alarming and people are using drug at this moment even students in school from primary school bangi Yeah bangi mnanunua si ndio inauzwa shilingi sijui 50 nimefanya research Mira haya sawa mungungume kwa sababu mnasema maybe hiyo mira hiyo bangi hampati ni sawa nta assume it's not there Mira ipatikani Haipatikani Ha eh? Mtu mmoja please One person please Mira inapatikana? Yes. Mm. Inapatikana. Baada ya Mira si kuna tablet sijui mnatumia na Mira mpate sijui mjifanye mkuu wa crazy sijui ndo azimu hata sijui dawa gani. Ya e, kuna mtu anasema jina ya dawa. It's so sad. For you people is very fun. You feel okay to talk anything you feel like. But we as parents we are so sad to see what is happening outside. We are losing our children, we are losing our brothers, we are losing our neighbors because of drugs. Recently I was given uh, uh, there is a NGO from Somalia. They gave me a contract to talk about drug abuse. Nikienda kuangalia research na kada nikisoma i said no youth tumepotea si nyinyi wanaume peke yake pia wasichana siku hizo wanafanya hivyo wanakula mira wanavuta shisha wanavuta sigara wananunua cocaine wananunua bangi imekuwa like it's just a lifestyle so sad i'm talking as a parent because i have a son I'm talking like a parent I have a mother I have a daughter And I'm lucky to say alhamdulillah my mom is not lucky to see this because I don't know how she's going to handle this life the way it's very harsh So my life taught me how to be hard in this life Nimesema kuna nini wasichana wako nje sio Kuna drug sio msisahau HIV AIDS ndio nitawaambia ukweli You think going to do immorality using condom you are going to do something better Condom will help you I'll talk the facts Mimi siezi future And that is exactly what I'm going to teach my son and my daughter and they are going to see this video because I'm going to upload on my YouTube channel And I'm not ashamed to talk about it because that is how our girls are being taught funga mdomo that is how wako kwa violence abuse marriage that is why they are being hurted but they keep quiet in the name of patience there is no patience when it comes to abuse there is no patience when it comes to a man or a woman who is cheating on you are you going to bring disease in my house no Are we together?
najua umeshangaa mnasema huyu msichana naye akichaa ama ni nini I'm very normal Eh <laughs> Unafika weekend mnaenda mnaoa Walimu naongea uongo kweli ni kitu mnaenda mnaomba marafiki sijui nyumba sijui mnasema keja mnaomba keja mnaenda na wanawake kule ndani mnafanya bisharati zenu mnatoka kule ndani lakini mnajua let me tell you one thing you are destroying your life within seconds Sikuizi nimeona pia watu nimefanya research sana na wanaume my friends are men si wanawake mimi sina i have few friends female lakini wengi wao ni men I sit with them discuss with them. Hebu mnipeni idea wanaume. Hebu mnafikiria aje they tell me everything. Sasa wengine wanasema siku hizi mwalimu kama wajaenda kukutana mtu msichana ama mwana wakutane. Kuna ile sijui mna kit ya kupima HIV sijui inauzwa kwa duka. Hiyo HIV nani alikwambia inakuja within three months. Read about HIV. Read about gonorrhea. Bana ibu please you love yourself STD See at you don't don't make yourself as angels Don't pretend to be angels nobody's angel here I went through hell I I made mistakes in life and I will never say that I have never done a mistake I did That is why today I'm very wise Ya. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Take care of yourselves. Dunia ni mbaya. Dunia ina mtihani. Hujui nini itakupata na mambo ya early marriage hata usifikirie. Nimesema mwalimu wakimaliza shule. Kama wenye watapata sponsor fine na kama hujafaulu haijamaanisha ni mwisho ya maisha yako. You are okay to come back to school to get another grade. Msisema mmemaliza shule mnaenda kujipeleka Nairobi, alafu mnauliza mama, ama sijui rafiki nitumie 200,300 ninalala kwa hoteli sina lunch ama sina pesa kulipa hoteli. Na uliacha kwenu hapa vizuri ukaenda tu Nairobi mwenyewe kwa raha zako. Kuna polytechnics. You do things with your hands. Ama mnataka kazi za ofisi. Me I will ever say usiajiriwe, jiajiri nyinyi wenyewe. Before you are waiting for your results, kuna polytechnics. Kama umemaliza class 8, uko na certificate ya class 8, enda jifunze kushona viatu. Si aibu? Si aibu? Enda jifunze kushona nguo. Si aibu? Ni kazi, si bora upate pesa. Why are you being employed? To get money, right? Don't do you think that if you are being employed in an office you will never get a harsh day? Ukijiemploy hapo mtu akwambia asaida akuja akwambia mbona ukushona vizuri? It's normal life because you choose that job for yourself. But ukienda kwa ofisi pia usidhani mwalimu hapiti mengi manake hawa walimu pia iko siku they have bad days. Wana korofishana na principal. Wana korofish wana wana nini wanapitana wenyewe kwa wenyewe? But why did they do that? It's their work. Lazima wapitane. Sisi wote tutapitana, tutakorofishana, tutapigana. Lakini how you react to that situation determines who you are. Tumelewana? Tumelewana, si ndio? I'm talking to from force now because nyinyi ndio mnaenda after two months I think or one month. You are going lakini usidhani umemaliza shule it is end of your life bado ndio mnaanza kama step by step step by step maisha inaanza saa hii tafadhali be positive in your life no matter what type yani unapitia maisha gani ama leo umeamka vibaya hutaki kuamka kwa hiyo kitanda always have positivity in your life I have bad days. But do you know how I overcome it? I sit down and I laugh because nikijipea stress na hiyo vitu nikijipea stress hiyo kitu itanisaidia. I'll be depressed. 
na nitakuwa na depression tena nataka nirudi kwa mental issue and i'm the one who is dealing with mental sasa mimi nijitibu mganga hajigangi itabidi sasa nitafute daktari daktari si ndio sasa niende niwaambie daktari mimi ni founder of men's mandera mental disability aid and i feel i'm depressed i need help ataniambia kwani wewe unatibu wewe wewe pia ni mgonjwa na unataka kusaidia wagonjwa it cannot work that way another issue affecting youth mental health mental health mental health hajamaanisha wewe ni mwenda wazimu you can be like this now but there is something disturbing you and you don't know you will be like this lakini kitambo uko na baba na mama wanapigana nyumbani kuna childhood trauma sasa hapo unaona unakuwa na wii uchungu nasema huu mwanaume babangu kwa nini iko wanaume mnadhani hamsikizani na baba yenu na kuna wanawake pia hawasikizani na baba because maybe baba alikuwa violent baba alikuwa hivi mama alikuwa hivi nafika wale wanaume wengine hata wanaogopa kuoa because ile life walipitia nyumbani so ijamaanisha the mental issue ni mpaka lazima utupe nguo mhm unaweza vaa suti vizuri lakini you are totally sick you need rehabilitation you need recovery sisi wote tunatembea vizuri tuna smile nimepaka makeup yangu na kuja kucheka na nyinyi hapa lakini kumbe ndani deep down i'm dying hata ujue kama nilikuwa refreshana na ndugu yangu jana na baba yangu ama ndugu yangu you don't know but why am i here because i'm positive tumelewana in case you have any issue that is affecting you and you think it's going to affect you in future don't keep quiet talk about it i'm sure not all teachers are bad i'm sure you have teachers who will listen to you if you don't want to go to teachers go to a friend if it's not in the same school go to a neighbor go to another school share ideas speak out tumelewana mjuchunge sana mnapendwa kuna watu wanawategemea mko na wazazi mko na mandugu mko na aunties mko na kila nani wanawategemea nyinyi ndio tegemeo lao don't give up it's so easy to give up don't give up mpende walimu wenu kama mnatoka shule because walimu maybe waliwakosea muombane msamaha do you know sometimes unaweza kujifanya wewe ni mjuaji unasema huyu mwalimu ni lakini huyo mwalimu akikukasirikia na ongea maneno because after your parents the second parents are teachers because ukitoka kwa mzazi wako sasa yeye ajui unafanya nini uko shuleni lakini sasa ukikosea what happens walimu akisema huyu kijana amenishinda huyu wewe nenda utafaulu maisha na mwalimu akikwambia inaweza kuwa nani alikwambia huyu mwalimu hawezi kukuzaa He is here because of you and you are misbehaving and teacher will feel bad squeeze na sikia mtaki kupigwa si kama zamani mnapigwa sasa mtaambua nini mkate nyasi na hakuna nyasi hapa naona mnaambua mfanye nini punishment kosha dom cho it is work that teacher is training you by then nimefanya kwa niliosha cho cho ya wazungu niliosha Eh niliosha choo ya wazungu nikatupa gazeti usiku from 3 to 6 am Nilifagia barafu barabarani hivi minus zero minus sijui ngapi negative something Saida yuko hmm. because of she wants money I don't want to depend on anybody That's why I don't depend on anyone Dan is my videographer I pay him That's why we are here. He's here because I'm paying him. If I could not pay him, atakuja dan ungekuja? Eh? Angekuja? Angekuja? Nikazi, 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 nikazi. Nikazi. Lakini hebu niambie wewe umalize form 4. Uja nipe, niambie nipeleke kwa Dan, nitakupeleka kwa Dan. Dan will help you how to, to do videography. 
free of charge kama ni pesa kidogo mimi nitakutolea this is a cause this is money no, you can ask him later. <laughs> no, Dan will answer those questions behind the scene. You know, because anaenda kwa functions, anaenda hivi na hivi, ata discuss na yeye. Nyinyi yeye ndo atawaambia ni youth kama nyinyi. Sasa, wacha tumalizie. Sitaki kuongea sana muda time inaenda. Hebu nataka niombe hizo makaratasi zikuje tafadhali. Please. Any question? Yeah, tafadhali. Haya. Bismillah. Kama tunasumbuana na familia nifanye nini? Nasikia swali. Kama tunasumbuana na family nifanye nini? That is what I was talking about childhood trauma At the moment you can't do anything because you are depending on those families you are de depending on your parents if that question is yours If that question is yours sikiza hii jibu Sisi wote tulisumbuana na familia na mpaka sasa hizi tunasumbuana family is something that is ndefu na haitaisha na meno kama meno na ulimi napigana what do you think about family ina umana si tuna umana kila wali, tuna wakati tunajiuma that is a history it will continue but i don't want to say we continue and somebody is toxic to you if that person is toxic avoid that person hata kama ni nani hata kama ni baba yako lakini usikuwe kichwa ngumu kwa mzazi lakini give your peace of mind peace of mind is very important when i talk about health nini mental issue is therapy is very expensive no one can pay for you a section of 5000 to go and see a psychiatrist a section that is section maybe therapy yako can take 2 years 3 years do you have that 5000 <coughs> love yourself and say no to toxic anything toxic that is going to affect your life kwa sasa maliza shule kama analipa fees ama anafanya nini ukikuwa sasa umemaliza shule prove them wrong by who, what working hard get a good results get a sponsor and just now look for your life you will prove them wrong. Maybe when I talk about some and I want to catch on gumu, we pay direct You start there. Family are there. We will struggle. How is life outside? Outside the country or outside the world? It's outside the country. <laughs> life is not easy like Africa. Maisha huko mkitu mnasikia watu wanataka kukimbia Europe going to Europe or going to Asia going to America life is not easy Utasoma kule si ile unaenda kujificha ukisoma kule au hiyo time inahesabiwa if you don't work you don't get paid Wacha hii size zingine mwalimu maybe principal ama walimu hapo atasema na umo na kichwa hata kuja wiki lakini baada atapata msha huko ukikosa hata 2 hours unakatwa only 2 hours if you go to the hospital with your child you have to bring an evidence that you are in the hospital or your daughter or your son had an appointment that one they will understand bila proof no salary. Kwa hivyo what I will tell you you have an opportunity here. Na kama unataka kuenda huko be prepared. Si hapo mnakataa kuosha cho, huko mtaosha cho. Are you ready for that? Yes. So you are not ready here. Walimu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what on a seven truck driver? Oh. Sawa sawa enda ufanye. Ati nini? Kuna mtu ameongea kitu huko nyuma. 
How did you end up in university with without high school certificate? Thank you. Good good question. Every country ikona rules and laws yake. So naweza enda kama sijai soma nikifika huko naanza square one and I continue with my life without certificate as shule ya 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 Kenya I don't need it na hata sasa hii mwalimu akiniambia kaa ufanye kama na eh please no thank you I'm tired of school so nimefanya university Aya Geography teacher writes a bad handwriting <laughs> Come back to school. We will sponsor you. Soma. Until you be, be proud of yourself, not your parent. You until you be proud of yourself, then you can go ahead. It's normal. I can't imagine that you can take care of someone. I'll leave at school. Pesa mani ni wa. Mama, me amka subu kupika chai. Are you expecting umpeleke D? Aye, pia ni ni amfikiri. How do I overcome the problem of wanting to go out of the class every lesson? Tafadhali <laughs> 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 Vumilia is only four years. It's hard. You have been there. It's hard. Hata mi likuwa mwalima kiingia subject ya mathi mikuwa natoroka. Nilikuwa najifanya na lala. Nilikuwa nikuwa mgonjwa. It's normal. Vumilia. Sawa? Mwenye mepena yu question. Vumilia. Four years. Sababu gani uliacha katika kidacho cha tatu? Idolences. Marriage. I thought marriage was sweet. I thought marriage was bed of roses. Na leo na lilia ndani ya cho. Hai. Lakini nashukuru na mtoto mwenye ako miaka 10 nashukuru hiyo ndoa hata kama iliisha niko na mtoto. Sina hasara. Eh ulifanya nini ulisoma kida ulifanya ama ulisomea ah, hiyo sijasielewa lakini mimi si kusoma kidacho cha nne vile nimewaambia ulifanya mtihani wa kitaifa anyway hiyo ni swali tu about okay wrong relationship drug abuse and hiv i was talking about it kumbe mnajua mnajifanya eh so wale mmeona mshaona eh protect yourself Nishaongea juu ya drugs, nishaongea juu ya HIV, wrong relationship. I won't talk about wrong relationship because you're still young. Hii yenu ni ya mapenzi ya ujinga. Shauri zenu hiyo. Ukio ukitaka kuoa na umemaliza shule mpaka university, come for counseling. Before marriage and after marriage, come for counseling. Geography issue, how to adopt with university life? Maliza form 4 tupatane ukienda university. Because university mimi nilisomea mahali ya stare, sijasomea mahali ya shida, so siwezi jua Kenya. Lakini bado ni the same issue tu. Siku somea Kenya siwezi danganya manake sijui maisha hapo, lakini kule sisi tuna tunasoma kimachuali. We are very mature, nobody is following people's life, we attend our class. 
tunapata results zetu tunafanya kila kitu hakuna watu kufuatana na maisha so hapa i can't lie to you sijui maisha ya hapa yani kwetu nyumbani so hapo mtaniwia radi lakini kama ni drug abuse iko university kama ni hiv iko university kama ni wrong iko university still the same problem from here to there lakini sasa the same thing is it is you to determine what you want for your life nataka kusoma sawa ukitaka kuanguka sawa ukitaka kuacha shule sawa lakini one thing ukiacha shule ni hasara ni kwako Uh, how to stop with relationship with girls control your zip <laughs> environmental stress environmental stress look at who you are surrounded with if it's good company well and good bad company avoid it's just that simple whoever is surrounding you matters a lot so how to find opportunities how to avoid obstacles you will never avoid obstacles but you have to cope with the obstacles you will never avoid you have to face it fight it's a yani eh kama ni ngumu mnapigana obstacles will be there even now i have obstacles but if you have obstacle yangu tunapanda basi 7 hours tunachoka tunafanya nini it doesn't mean i give up i have to come to young muslim so it's obstacle and face how to find opportunities good you have simu mko na simu mko nayo hapana hiyo mwezi kunidanganya mko na simu hata kama hamna mnaotumia wazazi mnaomba so many kuna e, mtu mkipata form 4 kuna opportunities kuna universities kuna outside universities you can um, apply for opportunities mnaweza fanya vitu za kimkono mkono opportunities are there simu kila kitu ni simu if you use it well you will benefit if you use it wrong you will destroy your life so opportunities are there but nimesema tena ni vile nimekuja muda mchaji ni nimekuja kidogo nimechelewa time yetu is not allowing us but i've said and i'll talk mwalimu wame complain maziwa umesikia umesikia mwalimu amesema Maziwa is very expensive. Mm. Maisha imekuwa expensive. Questions close sasa. Questions close. <laughs> no, let, let madam answer this on the next page. When you wake up with a goal, if you have no if you wake up with without a goal, if you have no goal, you go back to sleep. Yani it's like I think what he's trying to mean, unaamka uko na goal lakini maybe inafika mahali you lose that nene, si ndio? There's something going through. Kuna kitu napitia. As I, I said, it's a mental issue. If you want that person when you amesema ana lose hope in life, mambo na education, unaamka hiyo ni depression, that is stress. Tafadhali kuna walimu. Talk to teachers. Talk to teachers and they will help you inshallah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Before close your thoughts, eh? Uh, your questions, the things we just still struggling with. Right? It's about me. It's we do we do not start now. It's at almost the whole of this time this year for the 2022 academic year. So it's something we started from last year, getting this problem. Went to the distributor and found that advisors, you cannot afford to go with this milk we are having. 
because it's very expensive. It's double of what you have been getting before. The way you they are getting the milk, it was not it's not proper again. So they are now selling in tins, which the tins if you buy is almost triple of what you have been paying before. So it has become damn expensive. That's why you can see up to now, the packets of milk, those were sold at 25 shillings, they are now at 40, some of the shops, if I'm not wrong. No, 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 no. So you can assess that. All right. Uh, others, I'm following it up. Najua, Sio Pekenu, is something because of the changes of the joint lunch, Una a lot of ups and downs. And uh, this is something which we have to, we are still struggle to assess it because we started this term, Tuko Katika Remedies. And, uh, oh, wow. All right? It's something which you get, you have been challenged because you have joint lunch now, some issues have to be clear in assessment of the program. How much and how Abdurrahman and Abdul Fattah. We are assessing the situation that uh, we see how is the program going to end and how is it for now. We started this term early the first week. Not you alone. That's why sometimes when I was here, I was trying to get it from another way around. Because of the expenses, sometimes you cannot afford. For now, if you buy the, the, the goats, they are somewhat expensive. Some are cheap, but they are, they are very weak. I think you know, because of the drought we have. Sindio? Atoki nuangombe sasa waneza nuangombe mzima mtanga kwa wifutano, wifutano. But you have to make sure that you cough money to make that cow gain or feed in healthy manner and get more milk and sell it later. So, so. Well, it's a situation which is challenging to you and to us. Not to you alone, it's to us also is challenging. Because you have to make sure that you get the food. Madam, to me, but risk it to alhamdulillah. It's a very big, very big challenge and uh, we see, maybe for now, especially for now, we go to an extent, I'm involved, or we're involved, both the teachers of the two institutions, to make sure that we satisfy the <coughs> students, the primary children, plus the staff. It's not an easy thing. Mr. Makunja coughs, I cough. But we don't want anything to stop for the sake of the students or children in school plus the staff. We are in a very bad situation. Madam Anabosema, it is true. The organization lost many sponsors during the COVID. Mteja and eduka jengine, kuja kwa kotena ni shida, kwa hilo wrong. That's the challenge you have. The director doesn't rest. The board does not rest. All the board, the ones I know, the active ones, the ones I know, those are active ones. Wana taftambinu zozote. As far as they travel to look for sponsors, I'm happy to hear from my sister Saida that at the Saidi Anini Haki is something which you say I can So I've not got this one in Garissa, sister. It's going to go wrong. Si japata mtu aseme malizeni ni kutayari kwa sponsor hakuna. Mchapata tafu moja. I didn't get this chance. I wish I could get it when I was schooling. That didn't come to go up or get your name. You get a job. You get a photo of a semi one and a foot of a puny. Oh, I need to But uh, to be sincere, to be sincere, let me say that uh, 
let's get what we have and appreciate it. We say, Alhamdulillah, we do that to your backup. And whenever you pray, whenever you pray, pray for yourselves, pray for the teachers, pray for the organization. We are trying. Taka tukimaiza hapa Said Alad alimzungusha kidogo tutoke kwa njia nyingine. Si tumie njia hii ambayo kuna miti michache michache. Nimzungushe then I see what is there. And uh, this maybe this will be a day maybe itakuwa na more blessing for her coming. But to be sincere, things are tough outside. Mbaya sana. Anaposema Saida ni kuchafu tena mbaya. Ukipata tonge ndio pale na unang'ana usimwage chakula chini. Kile chakula unachopata chini kinakulaa. Utakuja kosa kutoka hapa utatamani ile tonge umetupa pale mezani nje uipati. Uipati. No one will give you I like the, the, the principle she has that Anna fight on her own. Anna fight on her own. And this is a lady. But you know, Naume, when I get to Anangoja, Mama, I Paka Leo. I shall put a valley. Mama, and you are Mahari. Anna Panumba. Anna Pawachakula, and Mama. Ye analala anamka jiona anatafuta gomba ama mboka anatafuna and start yani anapa mpaka unakuwa mtu mzima na mtoto they are there tunaona kwenye society mm. ndio mm. that is very shameful and sad sad i have the boy in form 4 i think they know i told them nimemwambia ukimaliza form 4 immediately ukimaliza after doing whatever you doing ujue unaanza kutafuta kibarua Hmm. Iyo nyumba nalipa, iyo chumba chako mbao nalipia ama nyumba mbao nalipa, tuta share. Mi nitalipa pati ya wale wadogo, tuta gaanya. Tafanya sabu, share yafu utajilipia. Nisha mwambia. Yes. Nisha mwambia, frankly. This is the way kwa tuwabara wanafanya. This is the way kwa tuwabara wanafanya. Unamaniza, utafata kibarua. Nitapeleka. Kwenye cause, papota, tafuwa, nitapeleka. Lakini atafuwa nini? Shilingi yaki. Hazikutimia... Amepata tatu, mshua mwezi matano. Ok, moja tumia, sawa. Shingi miatano, eka akiba. F3 miatano. Miatano mlipia ndugi yako fees. F1 mlipia ule na kunda secondary. Hiu nalipa chumba. Mita kuongezea. That's the right. I've already told you. Yes. Ready, now. Nisha mwambia. Na mama asha mwambia. Akimaliza form 4, 2. Kibarua, anatafuta. Aku, amekosa minta mtaftia. Mama kia ta mtaftia. That's the life. Nifasi ata, okay, yes, ata kwenda. Ata tafuta mkubu, ata tafuta sponsor. Saida na yes, ata siuna shi, ata tafuta mkubu. Anyway, the life, the life outside is hard. Maybe there are, there are some few examples we can have. The way Saida has told me, Aminambia, it is true. I have cousins, I have friends, they are in Europe. Munonoto toka Garissa na kuenda America, ana kuenda London, ana kuenda Canada, munafikiru na fanya kazi nzuri. No! Who told you that, my friend? Anafagia barabara usiku. Wewe! Anafagia barabara. Yeah, no! Yeah, mujui! I'm telling you, Kalea. Nini? Ali? Apele kindegi ya nakudanganya. Aya, sawa. Sawa, wame ndaktari. Apele kindegi. Lakini na wambia mimi. I'm telling you. Afadhali sisi tuloko Kenya Garisa hapa. Walimu. I'm telling you. Kuliku walokuenda ambaye amemaliza kusuma na hawezi kuendelea. Any cause because of the gomba thing. Ana kuenda kule si wambi urongo. Ana kose masaida mime I've got this one enough. Watu wanaosha vyo. Lakini vyo vyo si vietu bwana. Vyo vyo si vietu. Vyo vyo unaweza kwa chip na baga wana sodo kwa napondani bwana. Sio vyo vyo vinanuka. Barabara. 
inatumia machine wewe ni to control hakuna miaro miaro time is up let's go for prayers after prayers before before that after prayers we will we'll get communication from Mr. Felix and the teachers of Ruby Sasa. Thank you. Eh asante sana na leo nilipata hii fursa kukuja kwa sababu ya wanafunzi Adangap. Adangap. Wenda asante sana. Na wanafunzi Adangap is the best example for you he is the person that is en- should encourage you showing you that a 56 56 year old man coming back to school inamaanisha nini alikosa nini na wewe ambao hujafika 20 years unakaa hapo na complain he is an example for you he is the one encouraging you if you won't encourage yourself shall resign he has two wives mashallah and he is a, he is coming struggling asubuhi anavaa uniform bibi yake anampikia breakfast jamani anakuja shule na anakula gideri na nyinyi si ate makosa chakula anyway I did interview with him on my Facebook. Tafadhali mkienda nyumbani najua mko na simu. Follow me on my Facebook is Saida bint Rashid. YouTube is Saida Ahmed Rashid. Amin is to me Instagram. Biarut kulkit. Twitter si tumui. Si tumui si tumui. Lakini no my 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 TikTok is for my organization is for charity eh. Who I share on my Instagram. Instagram pia ni Saida Ahmed. Sasa mkienda nitaenda ku post hii na pia I'm going to have an interview one on one with the manufacturer Adangap. Ni mtu ambaye anatupea motivation and Mungu akijalia I'm looking for him for him a connection. Na nyinyi pia make me proud I will look for you for connection. He's going to be on BBC International. BBC International. We will tell you anytime. Bit. Anytime. He is going to be on Tuko. He is going to be on Lean Movie. He is going to be Nation. BBC Somalia. Nation STN. Everything. <laughs> another county you came to this county just because of our children here our brothers thank you so much god bless your family for having that patient if you are all alone here bachelor or single if you have your family here help your family yes No. I did. That is why I told you I didn't have any connection. I just applied. You know your visa too. The visa. No, no 
Lakini everything is possible. Be positive, believe in yourself and it starts with you. Walimu nilikuwa na wabariki asanteni sana. Mungu awabariki na tutakuwa pamoja one on one meeting we discuss one to three things together na inshallah we are going to see you succeed. Please please Yes, Mr. Felix, let's get a uh, word of thanks, please. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, because of time, and I'm uh, sure you are uh, 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 to give a word of thanks, uh, start, first of all, starting with the Saida, Sister Saida, with the Mental Health Team Initiative. Uh, we really feel humbled uh, for you finding time out of your busy schedule uh, to come and share with our children here uh, these words of encouragement. It's true, as you have said, uh, today in the 21st century, the children that we have, because we are parents, are lost in drugs. And uh, it is only by grace of God, if you may find somebody who is spared from drugs, uh, then it's just grace of God I've said. So please uh, take each and every word uh, that uh, Madam Saida and her team have said about uh, taking care of yourself, uh, being uh, focused, and uh, choosing the type of people uh, you move with. Uh, we as teachers, we have always told you in the past, uh, we are your surrogate parents, and therefore uh, we are here for you for anything to do with the mental health, even if our Saida will not be around, but we request her that out of her busy schedule, uh, she may find time and come back for another time. Mm -hmm. uh, Madam Saida, you are most welcome. Thank you, then uh, when she talked, uh, talked about uh, counseling, I'm also, maybe you may not be able to know, but from my statement you must have guessed, I'm also a peer counselor. During my own levels, that is for four, I did one of the subjects known as social engineering ethics and happened to have been uh, the best. And uh, the students who were close to me, I mentored them. That's why at my age now approaching 40, I've never tasted any form of drug. And I'd advise that you should not because your life may be ruined. You may, one of these fine days you find time and go to Mombasa and see how uh, boys and girls of your age are ruined, you will cry. Uh, it is something so sad. During my first college in the Cliff Institute of Agriculture, now Kwan University, we happen to have been given such a, a lecture by uh, David Ogot, the son to the uh, Professor Emeritus uh, Bethel Ogot, who was working with Nakada. He said uh, he was brought up in a well to do family, but he became naughty just like any other child. He would uh, take a few coins from her mother and her father's wallet, and uh, when he goes to school, he'll be uh, sponsoring the lot. And that's how he tasted drugs when he was in his A-levels. And then uh, the parents thought they were now helping him, told him that uh, we have had uh, India, uh, people don't uh, use drugs. So he was taken to India, uh, they was removed from Kenya so that he go and uh, take his father's studies in here so that he can stop from drugs. But uh, little they did they know that even India, uh, they brew the best, uh, uh, the best liquor. So he said he went to India, stayed for some time, like four or five years, but did not enter into any classroom. Then now uh, when he was in his levels, he used to say, they used to say during those days when school was school, of course it is still school, that uh, I'll be driving at my 30. And then by the time he was uh, addressing us, counseling us uh, in 206, 207, he said he was 45 and did not own a bicycle. Why? A simple reason was uh, drugs ruined his life. So he said that since then he had stopped drug, uh, drug abuse and drug addiction after having undergone a serious uh, session of uh, rehabilitation, uh, but uh, six years. But uh, every morning, he's not sure whether he has stopped drugs completely. So what he usually say, before he stepped out of his bed, he only make one prayer, God, allow me only today not to taste drugs. And that's how he was surviving. So, uh, Madam have really helped us uh, for bringing us to our attention about the dangers of Nini. He also told us so many things uh, that are very good for us. And uh, he also talked about uh, irresponsible uh, illicit relations uh, that uh, when you do 
uh, you will uh, maybe end up in the grave. Uh, I know friends from my place, many are of my age, mates, some younger, some older, uh, in uh, high school and even college. Now they are not breathing. Why? Because not they were uh, they were knocked by a, a runner vehicle, but uh, because of uh, a promiscuity. So let us take care of our lives. A true friendship waits. Uh, somebody who is now telling you that you want to be married right away, tell him, uh, tell her it is not yet right. Uh, I know of a cousin, I've always given you my personal example, who decided to marry a lady in Form 3. And then I was told, look here, your father is now dead, your mother is struggling, and now you want to marry. Complete even Form 4 first said, if I cannot marry, I'll commit suicide. Then he was told, okay, instead of committing suicide, then go ahead. Now somebody is married and cannot buy a bus soap for washing a shirt. That was 10 shillings by then. <laughs> so the marriage did not last for two years. Uh, by the time he was registered for Form 4, he had told the girl uh, to go back to their home. And then the girl shed tears. When somebody shed tears because of mistreatment, it's a curse. The cousin is now turning 42, and the cousin does not have a shirt does not have a house, does not have a pain in the pocket, and he drinks illicit drinks, and is sickly, and so many things that cannot be mentioned. So, uh, usually, uh, I like such forums, that's why I really encourage Madam to come back, because myself, Madam, I'm also a student of uh, educational psychology, and if you can be able to see this, my notebook, is in the EPS 800, Adolescent Development, Kenyatta University. So, in the absence of Madam Saida, we'll always be in touch, uh, you can also come to me for uh, counseling, also Mwalim and other teachers because uh, we have been through these things here. When Madam tells you our personal life experiences, uh, that is only a plus because it will make you take a shorter time uh, to reach your destination and avoid unnecessary mistakes. Uh, thank you so much, Madam. Thank you, students. Thank you, colleagues. And thank you, everyone. May God bless you all. Thank you so much.